Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. This franchise, despite the fact that it is so openly hated by a majority of gamers, also manages to somehow continually top sales charts. Every single year, we get a new one of these games and it sells millions and millions of copies. And what's funny is that, instead of this actually being money that's spent towards making the franchise bigger and better, each game continually gets worse. From its original origins, these games were spectacular, but fast forward it seems like each one of them is getting more rushed, more microtransactions, and even more really crappy season passes. But what could be coming over the horizon is by far the worst COD yet. What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here, and over the course of the last 24 hours, there have been a lot of leaks and rumors coming out about the 2020 Call of Duty. Now this is supposedly going to be Black Ops 5, which is a little bit weird, but what's going on internally with it basically is already spelling out the fact that this is going to be quite possibly the very worst Call of Duty of all time. So let's start off by talking about Activision themselves. If you've ever picked up one of these games, obviously you see this name on the front, Activision. Now this studio, or this publisher, is actually known for being very, very money hungry. They try and extra monetize every single piece of content they can. They are so obsessed with making sure that the studios they buy produce millions of dollars every single month that as soon as you screw up, you're gone. Well, my problem with Activision in general is that I feel like this obsession and fixation with profit really ends up hurting the games themselves. And what's actually been happening over the course of the last couple of years is that Activision is constantly trying to find new ways to really, really push the COD team to put in more loot crates, more weird things like overpriced uh, maps, and really less content for a higher price tag. Now, let me just say something a little bit weird, which is that if every Call of Duty was like $20 but was filled with microtransactions and even for $20 it was a great experience, I'd probably be okay with it. Or if every year they released a giant $60 experience that happened to be fantastic, even then I'd probably be pretty okay with it. My issue is that as time goes on, Call of Duty continually gets downgraded and now it looks like what's really kind of going on behind the scenes is just crazy, crazy amounts of fatigue. Now, something I've noticed a lot of people don't quite understand is how Call of Duty is made. Because if you just look at the store shelves, it seems as if every single year there's a new game and they don't really know what's the proof of the pudding. Where did this come from? Well, it's because there are actually three separate Call of Duty studios that are individually working on their own projects. There is Treyarch, there is Infinity Ward, and there is Sledgehammer. Now, despite the fact that these are all working on the same series, Call of Duty, in my opinion, each of them has very, very different talents. Some of them are better at making the World War II games, some of them are better at making the near-distance future projects, and some are very, very good at the Modern Warfare franchise. But what's going on right now is that it sounds like the 2020 Call of Duty is so behind schedule and so broken, they're actually going to the first time actually shove two of these teams together to try and rush next year's game. And in my opinion, that is an increasingly awful sign. So what these leaks are saying specifically that has me simultaneously worried and also kind of laughing at how much they're managing to screw this up is that apparently next year's Call of Duty was supposed to be a much, much bigger endeavor. Now, partially just because of the work involved. At this point, we're very likely going to have the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox 2, so they're actually having to make, well, basically double the work. They're trying to make this the first of the, the split console Call of Duties. This happens every generation. Well, along with this extra workload, they're trying to make sure that the game is bigger and better than the previous ones had been. I mean, it's kind of hard to ignore the fact that, obviously, Black Ops 4, the one we got last year, this was so obviously rushed. And I mean to a crazy degree. We actually have some pretty concrete reports about the fact that they had to cut the entire freaking campaign mode at the last minute, and it ended up a very, very skimmed-down experience. Not having a story mode in a Call of Duty 
Brody, it definitely leaves something to be desired. Now, uh, honestly, I am somebody who did enjoy Black Ops 4 a lot more than others. I thought the whole blackout mode and stuff was fun, the zombies was cool, but it was definitely still half of a game. Well, what's happening next year is even worse than that, because it sounds like they're actually got the story going a little bit, but the multiplayer is completely screwed. So what these leaks have said is that Sledgehammer is supposed to be in charge, but now, because their game is just so freaking destroyed and so freaking behind schedule, they've decided to get Treyarch off of their project, which would have been the 2021 Call of Duty, and just say, okay, screw that, we don't have time, and instead moved them over to the 2020 Call of Duty, which is apparently going to be Black Ops 5. Now, this is very clearly just going to cause so many issues within the team. I mean, first and foremost, you're probably going to completely demoralize your studio. Imagine you there are actually like working on a big project in the office. You're there, you're drawing stuff, you're super, super excited, and suddenly your boss walks in and says, Hey, all of you suck so freaking bad, we're going to bring in some big kids to actually help you out. Now, if they actually needed the help, I understand. Obviously, everybody needs corrections, everybody needs criticism, everybody needs to improve. But additionally, I do worry that Activision, which is such a focused company that's so obsessed with hitting sales deadlines, if they walked in and saw a Call of Duty that was not worth selling, I mean, pretty clearly, that thing must have been freaking broken in half. So having them bring in different people isn't necessarily saying that the game is destroyed, but in my opinion, it is a pretty big flag within it. Now, something else these leaks have said is that already people are actually very, very concerned about how much they're going to have to rush their own work. Apparently, some developers are already actually whispering to journalists and stuff to be like, hey, bro, we are about to be freaking screwed. Because what's really going on here is now they're having to do way more work in way less time. 2020 is coming up very, very fast. And now obviously this still means they have about 16 months until release. But if your game has no multiplayer at all, and you're a predominantly multiplayer focused game, and you now need to make it with a bunch of strangers you've never worked with before in 16 months, Oh, baby, you got some big problems. Now, let me just say, I don't think that every rushed game is necessarily an instant dumpster fire. I mean, sometimes in the past, having that additional pressure can end up creating more interesting games purely by accident. Like, this is one that uh, supposedly was very, very rushed, uh, to the point in which Disc 2 is practically just a big cutscene, but in spite of this, I do believe that Xenogears is not only a good RPG, but is one of the best PlayStation 1 RPGs. Occasionally, the additional pressure of extra strict deadlines can help you become a better artist instead of just making you crumble under pressure. But things like this are the exception and not the rule. And honestly, I don't really trust the Call of Duty team to be able to pull this off in the way that I think that they currently have envisioned. Now, for me personally, my biggest issue with this is simply the fact that I don't trust Activision whatsoever. In general, I think that they are easily one of the most evil companies out there. Just every single game they touch is scientifically worse. And for that, it does worry me. And I did like the older Call of Duties. I felt like this franchise used to be great. And obviously, I mean, which is controversial, I did kind of like the last two Call of Duties. Both Call of Duty World War II and Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 4 were interesting projects. And so what really drives me the most insane is that after they've actually managed to pull themselves back up a tiny bit, they've managed to make their games slightly less just hot trash for a second, and they're immediately going to take that step back down. How are you doing this? How are you able to just perpetually screw up your own projects despite the fact that you have such a diehard fan base? You guys have some of the highest selling games every single year. You have some of the highest selling DLC of all time. You have people who are so freaking into Call of Duty, they buy consoles that happen to get the maps sooner. That is how diehard your fan base is. And instead of actually taking this money and reinvesting it to make the games bigger, better, freaking awesomer, you just managed to squander it and have yet another missed project. Look, my piece of advice, as a random YouTuber who's never developed a game and is definitely wrong all the time, my thing is, 
take a year off. It worked for freaking Assassin's Creed. If you just sit back and enjoy yourself, really get a moment to enjoy your breath, realize what's going on, really refocus your actual vision for the game series, it will be better in the long run. It is just scientific. The human body needs to be able to rest, and that includes development teams. I know you're constantly hiring and firing people, but everybody that's over at Sledgehammer and the people who are helping them out over at Raven these are human beings, and clearly this treadmill of Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty is far too much for everyone, yourselves included. Well, these have just been my thoughts. What do you think? Are you actually shocked at all that the next Call of Duty is very likely going to be a freaking utter mess? Or are you just somebody who's going, mm, this is weird, but not a shock? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I am going to go drink a big old Dr. Pepper because it's like 7 a.m. and I want some caffeine. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Oh man, I've just been thinking about how many good games are coming out this year. I, I think this year's Call of Duty is, which is apparently going to be Modern Warfare 4, is going to be decent. But there's just so much other good stuff out there. I'm a, I'm a very happy man. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last. Or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.